Hello, in this video, we're going to look at the discriminant of quadratic equations. So our goal is able to find them uh, and then to know what uh, the discriminant or what it means for that quadratic equation. Now, the discriminant is a derivative of uh, the uh, quadratic formula. So the quadratic formula is the solution for the x-intercepts. Uh, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. The discriminant is just a component of the quadratic formula. It's this part right here, more specifically the b squared minus 4ac, because that's a really crucial part to uh, uh, the quadratic formula. So the discriminant of a quadratic formula or a quadratic equation, excuse me, is b squared minus 4ac. Uh, the analogy I like to use for this is a card game where there are certain cards that are either really, really bad or really, really good. And when you first pick up your hand, you want to see what you have, if you have any of those cards. So, for example, if you're familiar with the card game Hearts, uh, the Queen of Spades is a big deal. So again, if you're familiar with the card game, uh, this is sort of a really, this is the most important card in that game. And so when you take a look at all the cards in your hand, the first thing you, or one likes to do is see whether or not they have it. Because if you have it, it's going to impact how you play that hand versus if you don't have it. Um, and so that's, that's the analogy I like to use for the discriminant. Uh, it is something that we just want to take a look at because it tells us some interesting stuff. So first, let's look at some examples of how we just find the discriminant. So this one, we have the equation 2x squared plus 6x minus 7. Now what's nice about the discriminant is it's just a little less work than having to find uh, a solution using the quadratic formula. So we're just cur curious about b squared minus 4ac. And so here's our a, our b, and our c. Plug it into the formula. 6 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 7, 36, and then this is going to become plus uh, 8 times 7. I took care of the two negatives right off the bat. Oops. And that gives us 36 plus 56, which is 92. That's the answer. That's it. So, um, that's all you're doing is you're just taking these coefficients and you're plugging them into the b squared minus 4ac uh, to see what it is. Now, the reason why we were once curious about the discriminant is it tells you right off the bat how many solutions a quadratic equation will have. So the discriminant reveals the number of solutions and we sort of have we have three options here we're either going to have no and then technically it's a zero real solutions they're going to be imaginary solutions that's a conversation for another time so zero real solutions we're going to have one solution or we're going to have two solutions Okay, um, now the discriminant tells us whether we have that. So if our discriminant is less than zero, meaning that it is a negative number, we have zero real solutions. If our discriminant is equal to zero, we will have one solution. And if we have two, uh, or in order for there to be two solutions, our discriminant has to be any positive number greater than zero. And so just to explain what we're getting at here, let's take a look at these different cases. So zero solutions, and when we start talking about solutions, we're now looking at the graph of um, what a, a parabola or these quadratic equations look like. And so for zero solutions, we're talking about a parabola that looks something like this. Um, where it does not intersect the x-axis at all. So there are no x-intercepts.
So no X intercepts, does not cross it. And so it's if we get a discriminant, and I'm just using D to, de, uh, to, note, to denote that, where it's less than zero, that means we're gonna have a situation like this. It could look like that. It could look like that. I mean, it, there's a lot of ways that these parabolas could look, but the point is it's not going to cross the X axis. So what this looks like in with the numbers is something like this. So let's say f of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 9, all right? Um, we're curious right off the bat if this one's going to have any solution. We could just look at the discriminant. It's sort of a shortcut way of having to avoid a lot of work to maybe find out it doesn't actually have one. And so we do the whole b squared minus 4ac. Uh, and then we'll get, let's see here, so 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times 1 times 9, and, oops, excuse me, we'll get 16 minus 36 for negative 20. Now, keep in mind that this is a small part of the quadratic equation. This should, so our answer should be, under a square root. This belongs under a square root. The problem is you can't take a square root of a negative number. And so that's reflected in the graph because now there's no x-intercepts. You're not crossing the x-axis. So that's what it, the discriminant does for us. If, there's, if it's a negative number, it means that we have a graph that looks like this where it does not cross the x-axis. If we have one solution, the kind of parabola we're looking at is one that looks like this, where it touches the x-axis just at one spot, at the peak or the, the valley of the parabola. Um, and so our discriminant here is going to be equal to zero. Uh, and uh, if we go back to what the quadratic formula means, or where, where all this is derived from, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Well, if this is 0, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of 0, which is just 0 over 2a. And since we're just adding or subtracting 0, we don't even need that in there, and so the the um, solution, the one spot it's going to hit the x-axis is at negative b over 2a. That, that's just what it is, and so there's only one solution. And finally, two solutions. It goes back to what we saw uh, at the very first example over here. Um, we'll then take this 92, and we're going to have negative b plus or minus the square root of 92, all over 2a. So you'll have the plus version of it, you'll have the minus version of it. So that's the discriminant. I just wanted to go over it so that way you're familiar with how to find it and what its larger role is with quadratic equations. Because eventually we are going to start getting to the graphing stuff and it helps to know sort of what we're looking for. Are we looking for something that's crossing the, so we got a couple different options here, you know, something that's not touching the x-axis at all something that touches the x-axis once, or something that's gonna to touch the x-axis twice.